I'm currently upgrading my work from home desk setup, and this week I bought one of these. It's a Stream Deck by Elgato. As the name suggests, it was made for gamers and online streamers, and well, I don't do either. So why are we talking about it? Well, this little thing might be about to become your new favorite productivity tool. Launch apps, control video calls, create custom app control panels, multi-action automations, it does it all. And for you Notion fans out there, I've not forgotten you, I've even created a custom Notion workpad. How about that? Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Simon and on Better Creating, I'm collecting great ideas and tools to simplify productivity and creative life. And in just a few days, this Stream Deck has already done just that. Even though Elgato released the Stream Deck back in 2017 to become a permanent fixture for streamers and gamers, I think it remains lesser known and kind of underrated amongst many other creators and productivity types like us. So, Here's how it works and some of the amazing use cases for productivity that I am loving. This isn't sponsored, I just bought it myself with my own money to share the potential this offers with you. If you've not heard of it, the Stream Deck is a programmable macro pad with LCD buttons that can be programmed to control your computer and favorite apps with almost infinite custom settings. There is a mini version with six keys, uh, the original 15 key version, which I think most people should get rather than the smaller key one. Once you realize the potential, you will want it. And there's an updated version two, a Mark II of that, which is the one I've got, released in July 2021 with an improved form factor. You can change out the fascia for custom fascias and a couple of other little uh, tweaks, but essentially it does the same thing. And there is an XL for more serious automators and streamers. I didn't feel I needed that, but you know, it's a little bit more expensive as well if you're just trying this out. You simply plug it into your Mac or PC, click the welcome button, download the software, and you're good to go, essentially. You can program buttons to do different tasks from simply opening apps or your favorite web pages, really great for things like opening emails, to more complex tasks like assigning hotkey functions for certain apps or multi-actions that can set custom work profiles for your favorite tasks in the click of a button. Speaking of clicking buttons, make sure to hit this one down there. It goes a really long way to support the channel. Now you can create folders within each page for extra space, but I much prefer using profiles. These can be predetermined views that can help you group buttons by context or app. So you can automatically switch between different profiles when you are doing certain tasks or in certain applications, which means you aren't limited to just 15 buttons and the deck will intuitively change when you are in certain apps and modes. The interface is actually surprisingly intuitive to use and I found customizing the deck this week and setting it up actually really easy. And the pièce de résistance of my messing with it this week, a completely custom Notion control deck that's helping me speed up my Notion workflow and template builds templates link below if you don't know about those. There's a web store where you can download plugins from your favorite apps uh, and even button icon packs to go with them. The Spotify plugin is particularly pleasing for the fact that it shows album artwork when a track is playing. Sexy. Whoa, love it. I've also enjoyed using their button editor to create my own custom buttons for my Notion board, but you can also just find logos on the web or use your favorite icon packs uh, that you've downloaded uh, if you want a bit more of a minimal custom look. If you've seen my minimal iPad and uh, iPhone setup videos, I'm using the same icons from those in this to give my whole system a coherent look. Now beyond the obvious uses for streamers and content creators such as switching cameras, soundboards, sending messages and managing Twitch or OBS accounts, here are the best productivity use cases I've discovered for Screen Deck so far with a quick tour of my own setup. Building a home screen for different work modes has to be number one for productivity. You can jump to key tasks. This is the main page that mostly either switches custom profiles for me or opens specific apps, files, folders, or web pages. This is my better creating button, which switches to a folder within it, which then gives me access to a view of all the things I use for better creating. You'll see links to all of my favorite apps, so Notion to my Squarespace website. Uh, this one will open up, let's have a little look, the review is where I um, run my newsletter from. Let's close that. Pretty clever. Um, and then you can jump directly to websites as well, so either to search the web or, for example, to go to 
YouTube. Simple as that. The next use case is home automation, like lighting or heating controls. There is a free plugin for if this, then that, which is um, IFTTT. Pretty great for simple automation of your home. There are also plugins for controlling your audio input and output devices, which of course are free. For example, flipping quickly between headphones and speakers, great for when I'm editing. You can even create multi-action buttons to build more complex automations. Controlling video calls and setting up intuitive shortcut buttons to do so. I have a multi-action that opens Zoom, opens my Fuji webcam software, turns on my key light, and then switches to Zoom controls in that profile. Yes, all of that is possible with this device. That's literally saving me five to 10 minutes every time I jump on a work call. Managing regular emails and admin. Jump straight to emails and even inserting pre-written reply content is really brilliant using the text insert function. For productivity workflows, if you're wanting to manage regular communication, that ability to insert pre-written stuff, you know, I have regular similar questions about my Notion templates and I can now do it in less time. Faster shortcut workflows. Now my Notion editing board, it uses this text insert function to create a faster workflow in Notion. I use it to automate all those forward slash functions and then to automatically press return on those functions in one button click. Normally you would have to do this, I'm now doing this. I'll likely do a follow-up video on using it specifically with Notion soon, so make sure you're subscribed if you want more of that goodness. I'm also finding Stream Deck absolutely brilliant for simplifying my video editing in Final Cut Pro. You can download a free icon deck uh, for it from Argato's website and then program the hotkeys and shortcuts that you want. My film button also automatically opens the program and jumps to this profile. It's great for start up and shutting down routines as well. Or even more simply, I find this button that activates command Q brilliant for quickly shutting applications. For more advanced users, there are a ton of third party custom plugins on platforms such as GitHub to create things like Pomodoro counters, YouTube subscriber counts and all the rest. I've actually got a focused uh, button where I can click into it and it just gives me my music and a Pomodoro counter, which I got off GitHub. You can press it to set the uh, number of uh, minutes you want to work uh, and the alarm will go off. Now just be careful with third party things to download from sites you trust. So if you want to try out the Stream Deck and you don't yet own one, please click the links below, use my affiliate links, it really helps the channel out. And comment below, let me know what you make of all of this, any other suggestions of how you can use this tool. You should watch this video next for more on using Notion and other great apps to improve your creative and productive workflow. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.